Hey, grade fours and fives, Krista here. It's the last month of January and we've been talking about self-control all month long. Self-control means choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. I'm sure that all month long you've had some examples that are kind of like sounding like you. So let's do a quick recap of what we've learned. In week one, we've learned about Jesus being tempted in the desert and learned where to find knowledge, the Bible, when it's hard to do the right thing. Then next week, we learned about how people who don't have self-control are like cities without walls. And when we can recognize when we're losing control. Then we learned about David and how he showed restraint when he had the opportunity to kill Saul. Do you remember this story? It taught us that we can control our anger in the same way if we know the things that make us feel angry. And finally, last week, we learned how self-control is related to our words and that when we speak things foolishly, it can have such a great and negative impact. Today, we're gonna to be talking about learning how to stop. So whether that has to do with something like food or activities we do, like video games, learning how to stop is a really key part of our self-control. And of course, we're gonna to learn to hear about what God says about it. And we're also gonna learn that God is the one that helps us get through it. So let me turn you now to worship and then our so-and-so show, and I'll see you after that. Okay, see you in a few minutes.
Hey, Brandon. Hmm? Want to hear a joke? Sure. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Move! <laughs> I like that one. You know, I've actually, I, I fall for that all the time. Yeah. Every time I hear it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Brandon. Yeah, what? Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Wait, Move. wait. Yeah, no. Hey, Brandon. Okay. Knock, knock. Are you going to tell Move. me? Move! Do you mind if I... Move! John, that's really getting Move. old. Stop it. Move. No, no, stop it. Move. The joke is over. Move. It's not funny anymore. Move. When you tell the same joke, it's like, What do you think about that, huh? Isn't that funny? You think that's funny? Ha, ha, ha. What do you think about that? I don't get it. Move. I get it. Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. I'm John. And welcome to The So-and-So Show, a show that asks you, how you doing? I'm great. No, I was talking to them. Yeah, that's okay, you can talk to them. John, what are you doing? Huh? What? Oh, uh, sorry, nothing, nothing. You sure? Yeah, 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 sorry. Uh, welcome to The So-and-So Show. We already did that. Oh, I'm John. We we're past that too. Uh, hey, take it away, Brandon. Okay, then. Uh, so, uh, uh, well, now I'm thrown off. I can't remember what I was going to say. John, do you know what we're... Yeah. <laughs> John? Oh, uh, man, I'm funny. John! Oh, yes! I revealed a question! No. What are you doing? Nothing, what are you looking at over there? Nothing. Don't say nothing. You're looking at something. Just tell me. Okay. <laughs> what is... It's picture in a picture. I know, but how did you... Oh, the remote control, you know, we've been using. See, watch this. Uh, Off. On. Brandon, Off. Huh? On. Off. On. <laughs> okay, I get it. All right. Why are, why are you watching us? Oh, I'm just going down memory lane, you know. Uh, you know, we're, we're really funny on the show. Plus, I really learn a lot from me. Okay. But, uh, you know, we're on the show right now, so can you just... Just what? Put that away and, and, and engage with the audience, right? Sure. Done. All right. Sorry about that, everyone. Let's see if I can get things back on track. Today, uh, we are going to talk about something that's really, really important. Right, John? Yeah. <laughs> John. Man, I'm really funny. You know what? <laughs> I think we should play an impromptu game. What do you say about that, John? Okay. Great! It's a brand new game that I just made up that John is unaware of, and it's called <laughs> Say When. <laughs> this game is very simple. I mean, really simple. Before me, I have an eight cup measuring pitcher, as well as an endless supply of delicious syrup. This stuff is super sweet, right, John? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I say go, I'm gonna start pouring this syrup into this pitcher until John says the word when. Okay, once he says when, John has to drink the syrup I've poured. It's easy enough, right, John? Okay. Okay, indeed. So you ready to play, John? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's as good as a yes to me. Let's play Say When. Go. Here we go, first bottle, John. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. It's a lot of syrup. I mean, right now we're already at one cup of syrup you're gonna have to drink. Okay, I'm gonna look at the sink in a little bit. Okay, two cups of syrup. You wanna say when yet? Uh, not yet. Let's do another bottle. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's gonna feel so good going down your throat. Mm-hmm, I haven't bathed in a while. I don't, I don't know what to think of that. Mm -hmm. All right, we got three whole cups. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't know if you want to drink all four of these cups. You're on a diet, right? This is ridiculous. <laughs> it sure is. Here we go. Big bottle here. Mm -hmm. This is four whole cups right here. Okay, go. I like Boing. golf. Hey, do you know how many cups are in a pint, John? Mm, I don't know. There's two cups in every pint. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, this is a lot, sir. <laughs> yeah, my name is John. You can call me John. I know what your name is, John, <laughs> but do you know what you're doing? Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's literally overflowing. Yeah, uh, the figurative thing. Mm-mm, it's gonna taste so good. Brenda, what are you doing? I'm waiting for you to say when. What? Yeah, I won't stop until you say when. Uh, uh, when? Pain! When, when, when? Oh, okay. Oh, John. That is incredible, huh? Yeah. Drink up, buddy. What? Uh, you heard the rules. Drink it up. This, this is straight syrup. I'm supposed to drink this? Yeah, yeah. We were playing Say When. I poured syrup until you said when, uh. and now you have to drink what I poured. Well, that's kind of a dumb game. <laughs> yeah, and yet you agreed to play it. I did. Yeah, you were listening, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was, so... Yeah. I'm gonna... Drink... Oh! Oh! Go. Eight cups of syrup. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, you are. Yeah, okay. Here it goes. Mm-hmm. Oh. Boom. You okay? Yep, just stretch it out the old esophagus okay. before getting ready. Here we go. Uh, okay. John. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I'll make a deal with you. Okay. All right, you pay extra special attention to Kellen today, mm -hmm. and you don't have to drink that. Is that a deal? <laughs> Done. Oh, great. Should I do the honors or do you want It's Bible story time with Kellen! Hey fellas, how's it going? Wonderful, Kellen. Cool. What's with the container of syrup? I'm supposed to drink it if I don't listen to you. Oh, why? Because. Okay. So today, I've got a really cool proverb to share with you. Proverbs, in case you were wondering, are these really cool pieces of wisdom in the Bible. You'll find most of them in the book of Proverbs. <laughs> Convenient, right? <laughs> anyway, here's the proverb I want to talk to you about. If you find honey, eat just enough. If you eat too much of it, you will throw up. Okay, okay, okay. Kind of a gross proverb, but I think it makes a great point. But before I explain that point, I want to show you some examples of it using my good friends Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter. Ah, Mr. Fritter and Count Lupe are at the gym getting some good exercise. 48, 49, 50. Wow, Count Lupe, it sure does feel good to get some exercise. It does the body good, no? Yes. That is what I said. <laughs> now I am going to add 200 more pounds to this dumbbell and do 1,000 more curls. Oh, Count Lupe, exercise is good, but you can overdo it and actually hurt yourself. Nonsense. I exercise all the time. I will be a perfect specimen. But Count Lupe, I don't think you should. I will now do them as fast as possible. One, two, three, Count four, Lupe, five, please! Six, seven, I don't think eight, this is nine, a good. Ten, 11, 12. Ooh! Idea. Maybe you are right. Feeling a little crispy. Wow. <laughs> so, exercise is great, but too much could actually hurt you. Now, you probably won't get hurt from weights falling from the sky, but it is always good to do the amount of exercise that's right for you. Now, let's check on them again. Oh, I've got you now, Count Lupe. Not if I get you first, Mr. Fritter. Look out! No, you look out! Uh, uh, whoa! Uh, yes! Haha, no! <laughs> that's two games in a row. This is the best I've ever played. Oh, the alarm went off. Time for us to stop playing and study for the test tomorrow. Uh, study, buddy. I am playing with or without you. Oh, Count Lupe, I wish you wouldn't. I think I will. <laughs> Can barely keep my eyes open. They burn! They burn! Count Lupe, I, I think you should stop before... Ah! You regret it. What What Yeah, when you play too many video games, your eyes won't catch on fire. Probably. But 
playing video games too much can hurt your rest, it can hurt your grades, and it can even hurt your relationships. Make sure you put the controller down and engage with others and do the things you need to do. Thank you so much again, Mr. Fritter and Count Lupe. Thank you, Kellen. Learning lessons is painful. But at least now we know when to... Oh! Stop. Are you okay, Count Lupe? <clears throat> oh, dear. I shall later on. Let's go over Proverbs 25, 16 one more time. If you find honey, eat just enough. If you eat too much of it, you will throw up. Too much of something, even something good, can cause harm. It can hurt you. And it can get in the way of your relationships with others and your relationship with God. Having self-control and knowing when to stop is a great way to honor God with your body, your mind, and your soul. That totally makes sense. Thanks for the lesson, Kellen. Anytime. Stay cool, my friends, and um, don't drink that. Okay, bye. <laughs> wow. Okay, so uh, I was so glued to watching how funny and talented and ruggedly handsome I am. I totally didn't engage with all of you or you, and uh, I almost had to drink eight cups of cell. <laughs> mm. Yeah, listen, I think that watching the so-and-so show is a good thing. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but even when it comes to our own show, watching it all day long and doing nothing else is probably not the best use of your time. Yeah, yeah, but with something as good and wholesome and, and funny as this, how, how do you even stop watching? Mm, I think that is an excellent question. Oh, yeah? Hey, reveal the question. Yeah, how do you know when to stop? Got any ideas? Maybe ask yourself, is what I'm doing going to make me sick? Or uh, what about, is what I'm doing going to interfere with what I'm supposed to do? That's good, too. Take some time together and talk about it. How do you know when to stop? Yeah, yeah. You know, I think we should stop shooting this episode. Right? Yeah, don't want to give too much of a good thing. All nah, right, true that. I'm Brandon. I'm John. And this was the So-and-So Show. See ya! I really want to drink it. I know. All right, it's fine. time to find out, will it float in Cairo syrup? What do you think? This is a plastic egg. I think that will definitely float. It's definitely going to float. I think it'll float. just sit on top. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go all the way to the bottom. Oh, <laughs> that is awesome. All right, give it a second. If it's going to sink, it's going to no, take a while. It's not. Oh, oh it stopped it. Oh, oh, it floats! It floats. Oh, I thought? never would have thought that. Oh, this is my grandfather's watch. I was just oh, seeing how much time we had. Yeah. This will be great. Wait, no! Oh, it sinks! <laughs> what else we got? <laughs> <laughs>
I want you to go right to where those things are, right up to the controller, right up to the bag of chips. And you could pray this prayer. I'm gonna put it up on the screen so that you could like screenshot it if you want and keep it. But here's a prayer that you could pray over that thing and yourself to help you with self-control. Check this out. Dear God, you know that I struggle with stopping. Even now, as I look at it, it seems hard to imagine having self-control, but I know that you are more powerful than anything, so you can give me the wisdom to know when to stop and the strength to follow through. Please help me to choose to do what I should, even when I don't want to. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You know, sometimes we have like blind spots about the things that we have self-control about. But when we practice giving ourselves limits, asking others to help us be accountable, and most importantly, asking God to help us, we'll get to know better when it is that we should stop. So whether it's too much YouTube, too much TikTok, too much Minecraft, too much time just on your phone, too much TV, too much food, too much talking, too much being out of control, too many jokes, too silly, all of those things that are showing our lack of self-control, we need to work on getting self-control. Remember, self-control is one of what we call the fruits of the Spirit. It's one of those qualities that uh, demonstrates um, how close we are to God and how God can work through us. You can't do self-control on your own, friends. I'm telling you from personal experience. You need God's help. So we need to go to prayer right now. I'm gonna pray for us all, including myself, for self-control and what we can do. Okay, will you join me in prayer? God, we all needed to hear this teaching today. Thank you for the opportunity to be together and thank you for the technology that brings us together and works. God, we need help with our self-control. So where we're not seeing, where we might be out of control, where we need some limits, where we need to slow down or stop, would you help us see those things? God, would you connect us with other people who can help us learn how to get more self-control, who can help us set those limits or can help us recognize the things that we're struggling with? And most importantly, God, would you stick close by us? Would you help us? Because we need your strength to help us get through all of these things. But we praise you and we love you and we want to do this because we love you. Pray all these things in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. All right, friends, it has been an amazing month learning about self control, and I hope that you will keep these lessons close. This is something that you're going to keep developing and growing with and practicing in different areas of your life as you're growing. Don't despair. You were not made to be perfect. Keep God close and he will help you grow with this every day. See you next month. Have a great week.